Hello guys, my name is Shreesh and during this quarantine, I realized a lot of people are actually getting bored of PUBG and Call of Duty because playing the same game for hours will eventually make it a bit boring for some people. Besides, there are a lot of people who aren't much into heavy gaming and stuff and would like to stick with something more casual on their Android devices. So that's what I'll be talking about in this video. These are 10 casual Android games which will help you with the boredom of quarantine. Now because I had to look out for some good casual games, I have added a lot of games with over a million downloads on them and yeah, I mean they are fairly popular and you might see some games which you already know but honestly speaking, let's face it, they don't make good underrated games anymore. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this. So guys, first up we have Orbia, which is a fairly relaxing game. You basically have to tap to shoot and make sure that you shoot in such a way which avoids the obstacles circling around the gap. Initially, the game kind of feels a little bit too easy, but as you progress, it gets a bit more challenging, but it still does manage to keep it casual and relaxing. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice game and I guess this is a fairly new game, so be sure to try it out. Next up we have two player games. So just as the name goes, the game has got multiple games designed for two players. But if you don't have a lot of friends or if you don't have a friend, it's totally fine as you can compete with AI which is pretty fun as well. And the best part is it has loads of games in it which makes it an app uh, with multiple casual games. And frankly speaking, you can download this one app and you'll be covered for pretty much the most of part when it comes to passing your time during this quarantine. Now Uno is a popular game among a lot of people and when you are with your family I can't really think of anything else than Uno or Ludo or Snakes and uh, Ladders or any other game like that. You know just give it a try with your family it's gonna be pretty fun i don't have to talk much about uno and stuff but you know if, even if you don't have a lot a lot of people in your family or if your family is not interested in playing the game with you um, it's sad but yeah if that happens then no worries you can play with uh, other other players over the internet or you can compete against ai it's totally up to you and yeah overall it's a really good game and you know at some point it will get addictive and you're going to enjoy it and then we have vertical adventure where you have to keep on jumping avoiding the obstacles the game although being a casual is fairly challenging even in the initial stages as compared to the other games on the list the overall graphics are pretty neat and clean so yeah overall it's a pretty neat game and it's a pretty self-explanatory game if you look at the footage now diggy dog is a game where you play as a dog and are searching for one of your owners or masters you got to dig for the most part and move around obstacles and use them for your advantage as well there's a fair bit of skill and brain power required to get through certain levels which is totally understandable. The game supports 120 FPS so if you have a 120 Hz display the experience is going to be really really good for you. And also there are a lot of SMH moments which are going to make this game really fun for you. So be sure to check it out the link is in the description box below. Now this right here Cookies Must Die is probably my favorite game on the list. This is an action game where you have that sweet looking slow motion going on every time you're aiming to jump i think they got this inspiration from fz9 time shift or i don't know what exactly but this is really good and this makes the game one of its kind when it comes to casual games the game is pretty nice and fun to play the graphics are really nice and the audio effects as well are pretty engaging give it a try you're going to love it i won't say much about that Now if you have played the game Daddy Was A Thief then this game Aliens Drive Me Crazy is kind of like a sequence to that and you basically got to smash through everything that comes in your way by jumping. So if you played the previous game then you are absolutely going to love this. In this particular version you also get to use the car as well which is not something that you found in the first game. Also the game has got much more dynamic and flowing now from the previous version or the previous game. For the most part the game is limited to jumping up and down and if you have not played Daddy Was A Thief game then it might sound a little bit not so interesting to you but trust me when you try it out and as you go on to play the game 
it gets really fun and addictive so yeah i would definitely recommend this game it's a pretty nice game and pretty chill overall you know uh, it is one of those satisfying games Then we have Dino Park. Now this right here is another chill and relaxing game where you own a dinosaur park and you need to manage it as good as you can just like any other strategy game in here as well you start from scratch and you got to start from collecting fossils or mining and putting them together and for the most part this isn't much easy you have to align the fossils you have to search for them and you basically get just you know just about three mining options or three uh, these tools that you can use to mine and there are multiple rocks so you just have to trust your instincts and go through these rocks to find the exact fossil that's underneath the rock so yeah it, it is very tough and challenging for the most part but yeah, it's pretty good and casual as well added to that once you have your dinosaur you have to combine and evolve your dinosaurs to attract more tourists and earn money so yeah it's it's pretty much like a strategy game so yeah if you are into that kind of genre then you are absolutely going to love this game next up we have sim city now i am sure you all must know this game and in fact at some point uh, in your life you must have installed it on your phone this is one of those games which was pretty parallel to clash of clans back then just like call of duty is parallel to pubg right now so yeah, it is a pretty good game it is a strategy oriented game where you are a mayor of your city and i don't think i really need to explain much about this game because you should have probably tried this game you have to manage and grow your city and i cannot stress enough how addictive the game can get as you start upgrading your buildings handling the basic services importing exporting wars etc there is a fair bit of st uh, tension and stress uh, as well you have to be really efficient with your money and all of that stuff and if you ever like clash of clans then you might absolutely love this and in fact most of you might as well have an account on this as well actually now that most of us don't really have a lot of stuff to going on we can actually go back to these vintage games for for a while which is why i did include this game so this is not exactly a feature for this game this is just a reminder that sim city is out there and you can go there and play this game which is going to be absolutely incredible and now finally we have bombastic brothers which will instantly give you those contra vibes now the concept here is the same exact for what we saw on the traditional video games such as contra but there are multiple new additions intended to make the game a lot more better than what the contra or what these initial games were in the video game era obviously you cannot compare it to this because you know the time is pretty much different overall you need to shoot at barrel shoot at enemies there are boss fights which make the game a lot more engaging there are multiple quests you can select multiple characters as well honestly i am personally loving this game quite a lot the game arguably is the largest game on the list and you know there's a reason for that the graphics are pretty smooth or oh, the overall sound effects the soundtrack everything is pretty much very engaging and while i know that these type of games don't really excite a lot of people these days just give it a try you are going to love that and yeah guys that's it for this particular video i hope this video helped you in some way or the other if it did be sure to leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching